Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. Simple movements can become painful or impossible when you have adhesive capsulitis. This is commonly known as the frozen shoulder. When your shoulder joint doesn't move freely, it's really hard to raise your arm to get things down from a high shelf, change a light bulb, or even hug a friend. Luckily, a chiropractor can offer natural treatments that will improve your range of motion and decrease spinal pain and um, shoulder pain and inflammation too. So how does a, sh a frozen shoulder develop? Your shoulder joint is surrounded by a layer of connective tissue called the shoulder capsule. If you injure your shoulder or have surgery, the connective tissue that forms a capsule can thicken or tighten, restricting the movement of your shoulder joint. And you have scar tissue or adhesions that can also begin to form, limiting movement even more. You can also develop frozen shoulder even if you don't remember injuring the joint. So freezing is the first phase of the condition. While your shoulder is freezing, pain can be very common. You can also notice that it's a little difficult to move your shoulder. And once the condition reaches the frozen stage, pain can decrease, but raising and moving your arm will become very hard. Eventually, your shoulder will begin to thaw on its own, but this process can take six months to two years. So if that sounds like a long time to deal with this and not be able to use your shoulder, then you should definitely go to your chiropractor as soon as possible. Chiropractic treatment can refer, can relieve your pain and improve your ability to move your shoulder. And after performing an exam, possibly doing some uh, imaging and doing some orthopedic tests, we can determine the severity of your condition. And we can do several treatments here. The most important being spinal adjustments. Your issues may not be solely limited to your shoulder if you have a frozen shoulder. Tightness in the shoulder capsule can stress nearby muscles, triggering muscle spasms and pulling the vertebra in your spine out of alignment. So spinal adjustments, which is a hands-on hands -on chiropractic treatment option, realigns your spine and the shoulder joint, um, and that can be helpful in relieving stiffness and spasms and improving your range of motion. Also, massage and soft tissue mobilization can help. Um, this can break ap apart adhesions and scar tissue. Also help with blood flow and trigger the release of natural endorphins. Next is electrical nerve stimulation. This helps prevent uh, pain signals from reaching your brain. If your brain doesn't receive the signals, you won't feel the pain. And a gentle electrical current is delivered through the electrodes placed on your skin. Also, finally, stretching exercises that we can teach you will help loosen your shoulder joint and improve your range of motion and performing the exercises between adjustments uh, will great, uh, greatly help you avoid setbacks in your treatment. So once again, I'm Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. Check us out at newhopechiropractic.com for more info or to book an appointment. And with that, have a very healthy, have a very healthy day.